All right, man. So look, I've been seeing this video a lot. All right, like this whole entire Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. I've been seeing this a lot. So I did like a little bit of tiny research on it. Uh, I found out like a little bit of details just so before I react, I can actually have like a little bit of knowledge what's going on with the situation. Now I found this channel called Playback, and basically what they did was they reacted to a whole bunch of clips. And I was like, bro, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't find the clips they reacted to to get my personal reaction to it. So what I just did was just react to their reaction, reacting to the clips. You see what I did there? No? Okay. Anyway, so hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is you doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. We this close to a thousand followers. Follow your man on IG, man. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. And shout out to Playback, man. Shout out to Playback. 30-year-old actress filed for divorce on Monday. That's her. Yeah. An added blow to a devastating week for Johnny after. And you know what's crazy, bro? I didn't even know who Johnny Depp was. I honestly didn't know. I did not know that he played in uh, uh, the pirate, the the pirate movie. I didn't. I did not know that. I didn't know who Johnny Depp was, and I definitely didn't know who Amber Heard was. Of course. His mom dies just three days before she files for divorce. It's crazy. Amber is asking for spousal support, but Johnny's legal team has already responded by asking a judge to reject this claim. An extortion letter to Johnny's team. She demanded three of the multi-million dollar penthouses with all expenses and utilities paid for, including the one Raquel and Josh Drew had been living in rent. And I'm gonna spousal tell you right now, support makes no sense. If we are acknowledging that women are capable of working, and Amber Heard is in feature films, dog. She's the most high movie. budget feature yes. films. Fuck does she need spousal support for? See, I didn't know who she was. I that's how I mean I'm really uneducated because I didn't know who she was. I didn't know who she was, but spousal support is crazy. Spousal support is crazy. First of all, let's talk about the fact that um his mother died, okay? And she filed for divorce literally three days after his mother. Bro, how much bro? I, I just know that was probably the worst week of his life. Like my mother just died, you filing for divorce. What type of woman? What type of woman could you possibly be to file for divorce after my mother just died? The, my first love. After my first love just died, you want to file for divorce. And then, on top of that, you're asking for all these crazy... Uh, like, <sighs> She's a working woman. Fuck, she need... And they, they don't have kids? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of, no. Why do you need... Not, why do you, not what not the like, fuck is spousal not, support? Not, not only this, not only they I got to support kids. an adult? So just briefly <laughs> wrap up the beginning. They were getting a divorce in 2016. She <laughs> purposely decided to get a divorce like after his mother passed away. His mother passed away on, on like a Friday. She filed for divorce on a Monday. That's that's the type of woman that's we're like talking about. That's the fastest you could do it too. It's the, it's the fastest. So that's, that's, that's the type of woman we're talking about. As she files for the divorce, she asks for ridiculous shit. Just straight crazy, crazy, abnormal shit when you're divorcing somebody who's a multi-millionaire. What's even crazier is that if you listen to what they said there, one of the days that she alleged he was being abusive and bopping her he, they were actually spending time with a comedian so that didn't actually happen they, they the a date that she's alleging happened he's actually pouring his heart, heart out to one of his friends who's a who happens to be a comedian. She also demanded the Range Rover and $50,000 a month with such monthly expenses like 10,000 a month for gifts, vacations, and month? entertainment, and 2,000 a month for clothes. Amber the blackmailed the star. The comedian and his wife spent the day of the latest alleged assault with Johnny. He recalls, we assumed initially that his dour mood was because of his mother's death the day before, but he opened up in the most vulnerable of ways that it was not only his mother, but that Amber was now going to leave him, threatening to lie about him publicly in any and every possible duplicitous way if he didn't agree to her terms. This, this, uh, man, the things I want to say right now, but I can't say it. This woman is crazy. I have to see, look, I know there's women out here like that, but nah, this is off the top. This is off the top right now. You telling me she got money herself, but she asking for all this. You already filed for divorce. You already broke the man's heart. Now you talking about you going to publicly basically lie on it, what you did. You did lie. Okay, the man, the man never touched you. All right, they already proven that, okay? He never touched you. But you lied, abused, all that ain't... Oh my gosh. Bro, they need to make this into a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking people are trying to kill me. You've turned me into a... My boy has to go to school. My boy goes to school and has kids go, so your fucking dad's a wife beater? You don't think about that, Amber. Vanessa Parody has allegedly written a letter explaining why she believes Amber's allegations are outrageous. 
In all the years I have known Johnny, he has never been physically abusive with me, and this looks nothing like the man I lived with for 14 wonderful years. Lily Rose Depp is defending her dad. My dad is the sweetest, most loving person I know. She follows up the Instagram wow. shot with a snippet from People magazine, which says that police found no evidence of a crime from Amber's May 21st domestic abuse claim. And Amber herself was arrested for domestic violence. Uh, a few years back with her uh, with her partner. With her time. domestic partner. And we, we broke this story this morning on the website, and somehow this thing got completely buried. So, <laughs> just, so now... I send me laughing. But you send like, me, but it is fucked up. It's fucked so, up. So, now, once Johnny Depp doesn't give her what she wants in the, in the um, divorce um, settlings, and he's fighting it back, now she immediately says, oh, um, there was a bunch of bopping going on in the relationship, and he was bopping me. So now everybody has to come to the defense. There's already immediately evidence that when she actually did call the police about being bopped, the police couldn't find any proof of her being bopped at all. Then there's actual previous history of her being in a, in a this woman is, this woman is sick. This woman, I'm, look, I'm gonna be honest. See, as I was, <clears throat> as I was trying to find like the clips that they actually reacted to, I only watched like snippets of this video. This particular video, I only watched like snippets of it. All this right here, four months in, all this is just new to me. I mean, the woman done lied about being abused. Like, first of all, abuse is not even none to joke about. It's none to lie about, you know what I'm saying? Because there's actually women out here that's being abused, like literally being abused, you feel me? Uh, so many women out here that's been abused by their uh, significant other and they just like can't leave because if they do they might they might fear of like losing their life you feel me and so many women out there like that but from the looks of it and from all the trials and from all the clips that's all over the internet it seems like johnny Depp was actually a nice guy never put his hands on you you know but you just lied because he didn't because i guess he didn't agree to your terms that you wanted or he's trying to fight back the case because he know that all this is bs you gotta be jokes to me. In a domestic violence situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole Johnny Depp and Amber situation. Like, have y'all been in tune to it or y'all just don't care? I mean, a lot of people probably just don't care because it's none of their business, but let me know what y'all think about this But situation. she was the one who was bopping her ex-wife at the time. What makes it even worse is that there's going to be more and more phone calls revealed after Johnny Depp is the one who then um, went after defamation because the entire world start calling him a wife beater. Then there's going to be phone calls where Amber Heard essentially admits to the fact that she just, she's, she's going to have to say this and she's going to go to court. And at the end of the day, I'm a woman, you're a man. So guess who's going, who they're going to believe. And they're right too. Who they going to believe? Exactly. That's fucked up. But yeah. But the same shit happened with Flight. The girl he was in an apartment with, he was in his apartment. Girl pulls up, gets exactly. mad, starts getting abusive. Flight just creates a barrier. Police eventually come, and then they yeah. tell Flight to exit his apartment. Yep. As if he was the problem. I'm um, in England claiming that they defamed him when they wrote an article calling him a wife beater. So he is suing them saying, I am not a wife beater. I'm gonna prove I'm not a wife beater. He has submitted legal documents. He says that prove he did. It be, it be the beautiful ones that be so crazy. I mean, she's mad beautiful, but dang, she crazy. It be old, it be the Your innocent. husband uh, recently said in a GQ interview in a magazine, this is not true, that this, this didn't happen. So the fight continues, goes on. Um, you know, I can't speak about that. Two years after the divorce, Johnny Depp is now suing ex-wife Amber Heard. The shocking emergency room photo was taken on March 8th, 2015. Dang. Johnny was partially sedated for pain. On Depp's right cheek is what he claims is a burn mark caused by Amber, who he says put a cigarette out on his face. E.T. has obtained the new court documents that have Depp's side of the story. The claims? Amber flew into a rage. Boy, Johnny Depp, boy. Oh, my mama, boy. You is a good one. You are a good... Man, you, you put out a cigarette on my face? Maggie, 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 Maggie. Bro, don't... What the... She, she put out a cigarette. Boy, Johnny Depp, boy. I'm sorry. You is a good one. You is a good one. I'm a man of God, but man... Who? Holy Spirit gonna have to really hold me back. Because, boy, I'm a... Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. I might, I might send her to next week. She might end up seeing her dead grandma. I'm sorry. She, she end up might, she might have to see somebody dead because that burns. What the, man? And you still didn't put your hands on her? You still didn't put what? 
you dealing with a crazy, a cra- I don't know what race she is. I'm going to just say, uh, I think she's, I think she's just white. I think she's honest. You dealing with a crazy white chick. This is ridiculous. Allegedly upset because Johnny wanted a post-nuptial agreement. Told you. That's not the same. Bi- but it's not the same. But he still tried to get her to sign something. Yeah. And she lost she her. She yeah. she lost her mind. She lost her mind because she he tried to sign something, and the result of it was like this. She just went into a bit of rage. Yeah. So the the original video we uploaded, we were we were we uploaded something where it was just highlighting Johnny Depp on the stand. But in in the middle of that, they had the conversation about how like he got his his finger almost damn near cut off, and the reason why that occurred, or at least so, so much for what we know, is that they got into an argument. Amber Heard flips out and starts throwing bottles at Johnny Depp. What one is of them she, misses three? his head, and the other one hits him on the hand that got damn near cut off while he was like leaning up against the. Uh, that, uh, isn't that attempted murder? Basically, I had a pretty nasty <laughs> injury uh, um, that I actually uh, I, I I had to um, protect her at the time. And so I said that it was caught in the door, one of these, these huge accordion doors at this house. That wasn't the case at all. I she, she smashed, she threw a vodka bottle at me and my, my hand was uh, resting on the marble <laughs> of the bar like that. And the first bottle went just past my ear and the second one was a larger bottle and she threw it from about this distance and it smashed into the bar which and and this this finger who i now call little richard uh um was was uh the 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 tip of the finger was severed and the the all the all the bone in here was uh completely shattered. I mean, it's a, it looked like Vesuvius. His lawyer is getting ready for a fierce legal battle, telling ET they've got 31 eyewitnesses, 87 surveillance videos, <laughs> time and date what and the? photos. 31 eyewitness? Boy, that's that's wild. 31 eyewitnesses? How, what, how much else they got? They've got 31 eyewitnesses, 87 surveillance. 87 bro you've been caught in like 3000 you've been caught in almost that equals up to about 80 million of uh, freaking 4k like you've been caught in 4k about 80 million times 31 eyewitness 87 so 87 Violence videos, time and date stamped photos, all of which they believe prove Johnny's innocence. How the fuck you run up on 31 witnesses? That's what I'm saying. 31? 31 is such a crazy number of people to have seen a crime. That so, is insane. Oh, me. <laughs> 31 people saw you do that. So once once all this news breaks, because because not only is it 31 people, but then there's other shit that uh, contradicts her stories. And I don't even drink and she make me want to take a drink. Boy, I need me a cold beer at this point. This is ridiculous. 31? the um elevator and shit like that too so they have elevate elevator surveillance and shit like that nice. like she she chose the wrong nigga to try to lie on and take take him to court because giant Depp has the money and resources to really fight back in a way that's going to potentially ruin her so after all of that news breaks she then starts calling johnny and be like yo yo y'all what y'all what y'all doing is crazy man what y'all doing is real crazy i did start a physical fight. yeah you did so i had because, to get the fuck out of there yes you did so you did the right thing the big thing the you know what you're admirable I fucked up last night. I'm not going to defend myself. The finish line, and that's always where you drive it. I haven't even been able to have like a fight with you beyond in any real talking, kind of speaking context in so long because anytime anything goes wrong, you split. Hey, like, hey, good friends. shit. Good shit. Hey, you get in a situation, you don't know what's leave. Leave it. That's what I do. Leave I leave. It. Leave it. And take a breather. Leave. Take a breather. Leave. Let them get a breather. Don't make a decision you can't go back on. But she, but she's clearly one of these sociopathic women. She just honestly toxic. I mean, she's really the definition of toxic. Honestly, if you come into a situation like you said, just leave. It, it doesn't have to escalate. Es, es, I cannot say escalate. Okay, we go just use that. I don't even think that's the right definition. I, it is what it is. But just leave. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta walk away and leave. Take a breather. Let them chill out. If they don't want to chill out and they want to keep doing other stuff, then that's when you take it to the next level. And you got 911. What's your emergency? That's exactly what you got to do. I'm telling you.
Even when you leave, it's like, why are you giving up? Why? Come on, fight with me. Come on, be. We need to be here. That's toxic. That that real women don't do that. That's toxic. You need to be active because in her mind, the toxic behavior that will occur exactly. in a relationship, that's that's effort. That's what you're giving. You're giving off effort. You want to, you're trying. Oh, this is criminal. And it's, and it's ridiculous. But even when this nigga is attempting to leave, this is the reason why we had to redo this video because the nigga actually attempted to leave. He, want, he tried to leave and she still was actively drawing him back in and being certain levels of toxicity wow. that is just, re, just outrageous. Outrageous. So he actually Actually, to Johnny Depp's credit, he tried to leave. Do you believe you're an abuser? Do you believe you abused me physically? Do I physically believe? I mean, do I believe I physically abused you? Yes. Do you know I'm 115? Well, not anymore, but I was 115 pounds. I'm 115 pounds. But the bottles you were throwing, they're, they're made of glass. You could be... 10 pounds and you know how to throw a bottle hard enough you could kill somebody no but this 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 was about? also stemming from the conversation <clears throat> that's not the question that's not the question you started you so with the, these things. with them bottles i'm pretty sure you almost did knock them off his feet <laughs> So after so after that, they obviously file the court cases and stuff like that. So after all that happened, everything is filed and they start to go into the deposition showing the evidence. And again, if you're still questioning, this is what this is Amber Heard's uh deposition right here. This is Amber, this is what Amber Heard had to say. Did the bottle you refer to, uh, did it ever touch your body? No. Um, did the wine glass you refer to in reference to the bottle ever touch your body? Uh pieces of it did. Um that's it shattered. Uh, where did the pieces you say touched your body touch your body? What part of your body? I don't remember exactly what part of my body was touched by um, the glass breaking upon impact. I do know that it touched my body, uh, knees and hands. Um, what part of your body? I don't remember exactly. I don't remember what what part of my body it touched, but then it touched my knees and it. What part of my body was touched by? She need to go back to school because I'm pretty sure your hands and knees and feet is all part of your body. You just say you don't remember. Um, the glass breaking upon impact. I do know that it touched my body, uh, knees and hands. Uh, no, not my hands, my knees anyway. Any time prior to May 22nd, 2016, <laughs> Did you ever commit an act of domestic violence against Johnny Depp? Calls for a legal conclusion and irrelevant, but go ahead. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. No? Yeah. Um, she's fucking my brain up with these mixed signals. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, that's, a, that's, a tale, that's a tale of you lying. Like if you when you nod your head and you say something You're else. You're a psychologist? I, uh, you know no. those those videos where they they break down when somebody's going through a deposition or being interrogated by mm -hmm. the, the cops and the and the psychiatrist is like yeah they're lying right here. I mean I've, I've seen it numerous times. Wow, so yeah, this she, is a, she's lying. This is a this is mind blowing. Hey, what camcorder <laughs> they record this in? Also, yeah, they act like this is like <laughs> like it's in ninety eight. So <laughs> this is twenty sixteen, nigga. HD existed at this point. Four K existed. Why you why are you still using a camcorder in ninety seven? I know, the, I know the lawyers is being paid swell. Come on, man. I still agree. I think that Johnny Depp. Uh, um, just needs to be in a better situation before he gets married because um, at the end of the day, like you did, like this is at, at stake. Your livelihood can be at stake if you marry the wrong person. But mm -hmm. to Johnny Depp's defense, in some regards, at the time when when he was um, dealing with Amber Heard or he met her, allegedly he, that's the time where he was dealing with a lot of um, alcohol and drugs, and he was trying to wean himself off of that and change his life. LA is crazy. And so the fact that Amber Heard, many people, nah, that lady is wild. I mean, she's wild, bro. I never, I, I can, this is, like they said, bro, this is why you need to marry the right person because you marry the wrong person, all hell can break loose. Are, assuming the fact that Amber Heard was there, present in his life. He bonded he with her through that transition. Shit. You need yeah, he therapy, bonded He bonded with her, yeah. Yes, I understand what you're asking. Okay. And prior to May 21, 2016, or May 22, 2016, is it your testimony that you never committed any act of what would be considered domestic violence against Mr. Depp. Calls for legal conclusion and irrelevant to these proceedings. How is it irrelevant? I did my, I, uh, no, I did my best to defend myself and not, not, um, not, not 
get seriously hurt. I did. What? She so, just, so just self-snitched. That's so, crazy. Not only that, but then again, remember when she just sat in and said, I did start the physical fight. She started it. So on the phone, she's openly admitted it and she's lying. But then there's even further evidence that proves that, that she is still lying when it comes to other eyewitnesses were pre present in the building, but also her. Bro, she's just already, is she, is she, I don't even know if she locked up or not, but I'm just saying, but there's too much evidence against her already that shows that this woman is lying. I mean, she had, she, that's not, that's not even bring up the witnesses. She had 31 eyewitnesses, 87 surveillance cameras. She admitted on the phone. She doing all this scratching and doing all this and, and like looking so nervous. I mean, that's <laughs> how much evidence do you, anybody else need for this? assistant as well i happen to live in the building where amber heard was living with johnny depp and she currently continues to live and although i don't like Damn. to talk about my neighbors on air i do make an exception for justice uh in this case you know she's had multiple contacts with various people who work in the building uh face to face with no makeup on i know that she did for a fact on monday the day she filed for divorce and on wednesday five days after the incident and two days before she sought the restraining order and there were no marks on her face did the bottle none. you refer to so no marks on the face mm -hmm. none there was no bruises <clears throat> so no marks at all from several witnesses who would have seen it occur if it actually happened within the time frame that amber heard gave them but maybe maybe she was wearing light makeup maybe they didn't catch her the right angle so here's actually someone who sees her naked who sees her without makeup who sees her pretty frequently in all angles and that's her assistant you ever with miss heard when she was getting dressed or undressing all the time was it just when miss heard was in fittings that you would see her in states of undress no it was it was also in her apartment she had no issue with walking around naked quite often so two two stories there, right? She's verbally not nice to, to Kate here. And then now we're talking about, so you saw her, she saw her all the time, all, all out there, everything. Yes, she had no problem with it. How often did you see Miss Hurt doing her makeup? Now, sorry, I know it's low. How often do you see her putting on makeup? This was, remember yesterday with Isaac, they tried to say, well, you never see her put on her makeup in the morning, do you? Just when she was getting ready to go out somewhere for a party <clears throat> or something. You usually never wore makeup unless she was going to a special event. And when she did go to special events, would you describe her makeup as heavy? It would depend. Yeah, she was. It would no makeup. <coughs> Alice would do it, or if she would do it herself. If she did it herself, it would be light and usually adding lashes, and that's about it. While you worked for Miss Heard, did you ever see any types of injuries on her? No. Did you ever see any cuts? Nothing. No. Did you see bruises? No. Did you see swelling? No. God dang. Redness in her face? No. No. How about Miss Heard having black eyes? No. no. A broken nose? No. no. Have you seen hair clumps? Nothing. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Miss James. Never. You know what's fucked up, Marcel? There's not even a fair line of questioning because even if she has to, like, I have a bruise right now on my head. You see yeah. that? I ain't get domestically abused. It's just, it's life. You do activities, you trip, you fall, you hit something. We're assuming that if, she, even if there was an instance where she had a bruise, mm -hmm. it was Johnny Depp. Yeah. But, kind of find out it's not. Wow. There was no bruises whatsoever from the assistants that saw. The people that she ran across were eyewitnesses that worked in the building that they live in, didn't see anything. And then when the police came over there and was trying to figure out what's going on, they didn't see anything either. And, and I'm mad so that nobody, we, there's no, there's literally no proof of it at all. We yeah. haven't even addressed the fact that she is naked around her assistant. <coughs> I'm always clothed around Jake. Imagine if Jake just saw my dick out. No, no, and no. And he's just supposed to accept that? No, 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 no. That no, is no. crazy. No, 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 no. I cannot believe this was, out of all the women they could have chose from to tell us to believe, <laughs> it was I chose Amber. <laughs> There's so many better is, options to tell this, us to believe. This is by far the worst one to tell them from. <laughs> and you know what, you know what makes it even worse? Because, because there was a stretch in time where Amber heard she was the voice of the Me Too now movement. She was the voice. She was at the top of it. Uh, out of all the shit. women that you could have picked to lead the Me Too movement, why was it this one right here? Because this is what she was saying. I am not a victim. To my detriment, I guess there was a lot of shame attached to that that label of victim. It happens to so many women, you know, it, when it happens in your home behind closed doors, 
with someone you love, it's it, it's not as straightforward. It, it's bro, strange shut it up, bro. What? <laughs> this is this is oh my god. This is just getting this is getting annoying to hear. Jeez. Oh, let me uh fast forward this right here. Cause man. Tell people that it was a fair fight and. You can t you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the jury and judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. See what the, tell them. See what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I am a victim too of domestic violence, and yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. It doesn't matter if it's a fair, fair fight. My ass. Any comments, Anthony? Nothing. <laughs> Fighting the good fight. Oh yeah, the good fight, the real good physical fight where you throw bottles and Oh man, okay. Um I don't know. I don't know what to say about this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Uh the whole Johnny Depp and Amber situation. I don't know if this like I know this trial is like pretty like old, I think, but it been on my my page like recently like, a lot lately. So I just had to check it out, man. So I did a little bit of research or whatever and I found out a little bit more. And I actually got a little bit more information from this video. So shout out to Playback for giving me the info and the breakdown of it. You feel me? Uh to be honest, y'all. You gotta watch who you marry, bro. You you know, just because you've been in love with this person for this amount of years, this amount, bro, you really have to just go to God and ask God, like, is this the woman that you're supposed to be marrying? Because, to, truth be told, bro, a lot of y'all in marriages y'all not even supposed to be in. You feel me? So, you know, God knows who the right one for you. You feel me? You just gotta go to him and ask. And if you don't want to go to him and ask, then, hey, you're gonna, be, you're gonna be out here looking like Johnny Depp and freaking Amber, okay? Maybe not with the abuse, but maybe with the whole going back and forth with the divorce and all this. Like, it's just too much, bro. It's just way too much. Oh, uh, man. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Follow your boy on Instagram. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, it's been your boy, The Pan. Uh, shout out to Playback once again. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.